everybody. Today I wanted to do a short video about um, something I found at the garden center and it's it's really really common and it's easy to fix um, and I'm sure you all have done it too where you picked up a plant you didn't look at it very closely and you got home and it realized it had aphids or some other bug. Mine had aphids and I've been planting the garden at the end of the driveway. I'll do a video of that later because it's a whole different story <laughs> but this one I wanted to show you what I do when I get a plant with aphids especially when it hasn't been planted yet um, I just go ahead and pull the plant and I stick it on my potting bench until I can get it cleared of any pests otherwise it gets pitched in the burn barrel if it has diseases or anything like that I never keep those things in my compost pile I always pitch them in the burn barrel so um, I wanted to show you all this is my lovely autumn joy sedum if you have not tried autumn joy it's beautiful it's lovely it's very salt tolerant that's the garden we'll talk about in another video but um it has aphids which are these little tiny teeny tiny things um they're soft-bodied insects and so they respond really well to insecticidal soap. But you don't need to buy insecticidal soap. You can make your own, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can just use some oil and a little bit of um, dish soap and mix it in with some warm water. And I just keep a little thing of it on hand at, that you can dilute later. Just be really careful with this. Do not use this in the summer because the oil will burn the foliage. So only do this like at the very beginning of the season um, and keep the plants out of the sun because just like us if you put oil on our skin we're gonna burn the plants will do the same thing so just be really careful um, about putting oils on if it's the middle of summer and you want to do some insecticidal soap on plants that are in the garden you can just do a straight soap mix with your water um, Let's just put a couple tablespoons of dish soap in with your warm water, shake it up a bit, and spray it down. And what it does is it gets onto the insect and um, it's a surfactant, so it kind of sticks to them and it clogs their spiracles. And that's how they breathe. So there's these little holes on their sides and that's how they take in air. So it just basically clogs them up and suffocates them to death. Um, if you don't like that option, you can also try releasing some ladybugs. Um, they do sell those online. Just look for ladybugs for sale and you can buy a, you know, a bag of ladybugs and they'll ship them to you. Uh, the only thing with the ladybugs is that um, when you release them and then they take care of the aphids, when the aphid population is under control, they leave. <laughs> so you'll have to replace them, which is totally fine if you dig that sort of thing. Um, my method is just as organic as that. Um, and because it's not such a huge issue, this is a very lightly infested plant actually. I plan on putting it in the garden as soon as it's done being infested. But um, if it's a really heavily infested plant, sometimes I recommend just pulling it out and replacing it and ditching that and putting it into the burn barrel. It's kind of up to you. And it's also um, sort of your tolerance to pests and problems. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and spray this down. I'm not gonna spray it anywhere where there's anything else because it has oil in it and I don't wanna hose everything down. Um, you also don't wanna spray on a windy day. It's windy here, but I'm gonna spray this anyway. I'm still spraying. Just make sure you coat them pretty well. Oh, there's a little sprout in the bottom. Make sure you get under the leaves too. All right, now my plant has been treated. I'm gonna have to keep doing this though because um, as I water it and it the, the soap will wear off and you'll just have to continue to um, spray it down a bit but keep checking it to see if the aphids are active um, typically you can tell the the leaves will look really sickly if if they're still active um, and I caught this I think 
Oops. Um, before it became problematic. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to come through, pull through, and I will be planting this in my garden in the next couple weeks, I assume. So, that's my tip for today. Um, get yourself one of these handy spray bottles. Make sure that you mark it in insecticidal soap so that you don't actually accidentally drink it or your kids don't use it in a squirt gun fight. Not that that's really terrible. There's nothing in this that can really kill anybody, but who wants soap and oil in their eyes anyway? So, I hope you all uh, get to try this or maybe try some ladybugs and tell me how it goes. And happy gardening.